It's probably just me. Wee! In his bedroom shoes. That's not happening. I'll just spread this out. Welcome back, everybody. It is lunchtime on this rainy, rainy day. I gotta make a chicken nugget. Yes, Manny's gonna make the chicken nuggets. Can you spread them out for me? It's popcorn and chicken. I got popcorn chicken. Yeah. They good. Mm -hmm. Put in the oven, Mama. Okay. We gotta wait for it to beep. It's almost ready. All right, y'all, we're about to go ahead and start supper. I have two half loin roasts here, so one. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make a brown sugar and pineapple, well, two brown sugar and pineapple pork loins. What we're gonna do first is just season both of these. I have a big, I, my, I have my iron skillet, but my other pan is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna try to sear both of these at the same time. Still might not be able to fit both of them in there. But anyway, we're gonna sear them. After we season them, we're gonna sear them on all sides and then stick them in the oven with the pineapple. But we're gonna season them first. We're gonna use brown sugar. We're gonna use some paprika, salt, pepper, paprika, brown sugar. And I think that's it. That's all we're gonna season them with. I think it finally, did it stop raining? It's still drizzling a little bit out there. Manly's taking his nap. I think everybody was wanting to take a nap today. This rain definitely makes you sleepy. I'm gonna open this over the sink so if any juices come out, then I'll transfer it back over here. I'm not really measuring this. I'm just kind of eyeballing how much I'll need for both of the roasts. So we have brown sugar in there. I'm gonna put in a little paprika and just some salt and pepper. Probably about two tablespoons of paprika, maybe just a little more teaspoon of pepper and about a teaspoon of salt. Sissy's gonna mix all that up and then I'll rub it on the roasts. And I'm gonna go ahead and be getting the squash because we're gonna make a squash casserole, rolls, and carrots. Which by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start them in the pot so they can get really good and tender. It's not gonna take these pork loins long once we get them in the oven. Probably just about 40 minutes, I guess. We'll go ahead and let our water be getting ready for the carrots. I think this is a fun, summery way to make pork tenderloin. Alright, here comes the first one. Yeah, I'm only going to be able to fit one of these at a time. <laughs> this pan's just a tad bit bigger than my iron skillet. Here I was thinking I was going to be able to put both of these in here. Mm -mm. That's not happening. Almost should have just gotten out the griddle for these because they don't even fit in these pans. Okay, let's get the next one ready. These pork tenderloins were not a bad price at Walmart. They were $10 and they're really, really, you know, y'all can see that one doesn't even fit in the pan. <laughs> they're good sized tenderloin roasts. So while we're searing these, we're gonna go ahead and get the pineapple sliced up.
for this one. Go over here to the pan. Okay, now we're bringing it over the next one. Oh, that be a little stubborn. Mm -hmm. Don't start, baby. <laughs> a little oink, oink juice on you. Oh, baby. We're gonna go ahead and flip this bad boy. Oh, you want it? Yeah, that's good. Just <laughs> make it roll over. <laughs> roll on over there. taking some mandarin oranges. Y'all have heard of that pig picking cake? This is pig picking. <laughs> there you go. No pun. <laughs> no pun intended here. We're just gonna drop these around here just a little bit. Now we're gonna take the juice from the can and just pour I'll it. I see what you're talking about because now the juice is gonna get down in the pork really good. There we go. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of brown sugar, sprinkle over the top so it kind of gets on the pineapple and the oranges. Okay, y'all, I've got some butter melting over here in my pan. We're gonna slice up yellow squash, zucchini, red onion, and red bell pepper. I mean, just let's compare red, purple, right? I know y'all are with me on that, yes. So I transferred all the vegetables over to this bowl. Now we're gonna put in some cheese. This is some sliced cheddar cheese that I had. It was in a block and then we sliced it into these like long thin strips for burgers, but we didn't use it all. And now it's been in the refrigerator and nobody really like wants it because it doesn't look like the prettiest cheese, but <laughs> it's just cheese slices. We're gonna use this. To mix with our vegetables here normally i would use you know just shred up some cheese or something but we need to get this used up so we're gonna put it in here so it's exactly what i would shred up it's just in a different shape i'm just gonna break it up a little more mix it in then we're gonna put in some sour cream i already put a little salt and pepper in here we're putting in a little over half a cup of sour cream because i'm making a little more the recipe is like an eight by eight pan we're using a little bit of a bigger pan or casserole dish. You can also put in Parmesan cheese, but I think, will you see if I have Parmesan in the refrigerator? I've made it without it a bunch of times though because I've not had Parmesan a bunch of times and it's still just as good. I have some finely shredded Parmesan instead of the grated, so we'll just put a little bit of this in here. Now we're gonna transfer this over here to the casserole dish. I'm gonna spray it real quick, then we'll pour this in. We'll just spread this out. Now we're just gonna crush up some crackers. I'm using Townhouse, but you can use Ritz or any brand of these little butter crackers. I'm just gonna break these up all over the top and then this goes in the oven just for about 20 minutes. You're just melting the cheese really good and browning the crackers on the top. So we finished eating, the roast was really good. 
definitely taste summery with the pineapple and the oranges on there. I think the next time I make it, I'll leave the oranges off. Titus and the kids really loved it. I just didn't love the mandarin orange flavor in there with it. They loved it though, so it's probably just me. <laughs> I think I'd like it better with just the brown sugar and pineapple. If you grilled it or smoked it instead of cooking it in the oven, that would be outstanding, especially for summer. I'm trying to fix my little mat, mainly moved it a minute ago. <laughs> anyway, it was really good, but as good as the roast was, my favorite part was the squash casserole. Y'all know this, it's like one of my favorite things. I pretty much made it the same way I always make squash casserole. I just added more stuff. We added the zucchini, we used purple onion instead of yellow, and we added in the red bell pepper. So good, oh yeah, and we did the copycat Cracker Barrel carrots. I'll have that recipe in the description box for y'all too. Now it's cleanup time. We're gonna pack up the leftovers and get this kitchen clean. You need help? Yeah. I gotta help with this bicycle. I'll help you with it here. Put it right here. Here comes Chichi. Are you gonna ride like the big kids? I like a big kid. <laughs> yeah. It finally stopped raining, so we're coming out here for just a little bit after supper, but it is so sloppy. <laughs> Wee! He's been trying to do this for a while. Yeah. He finally got the courage up to get that's on and look. Yeah, that's Manny's bicycle. He finally got the courage up to get on. And we'll push him around, but this is how his bike rides always end up. Me following behind him, rolling the bike. <laughs> really bent over because it's so short. What's that sound, Daddy? That's an airplane. Oh, is it airplane? Yeah. Oh. Airplane up in the sky? They flying way up there. They far away. They far away. You want to go on an airplane? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I want to go up in an airplane. You want me to act like I'm flying off this porch? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that I can do it, but I believe I can do it. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing around, son. In his bedroom shoes at that. Right. With missing the shoestrings. I pulled the shoestrings out because they didn't fit me. <laughs> What's this? I want to go faster. 